going on you guys you already know who it is ain't no need to say my name but you already know what to do hit that um subscription subscription what what does any of that mean i know what i mean I, what i meant to say was hit the um subscribe button at the bottom of the screen okay just hit the subscribe button as you can tell by this title you already know what i'm getting ready to talk about queen Naja and john p king so as you guys remember queen Naja put her hit out and it was called karma <clears throat> okay so if you guys have not listened to the song i will be playing a little clip to the song as of right now on the screen so you guys can hear it out you don't gotta worry about me oh, you made it clear that you're unhappy you don't know my story you don't know the my things you don't know the things that i've come through okay so you guys heard it for yourself so i guess everybody was like talking about the situation on what they thought about queen Naja copying john p keith well this is my opinion well no we're not even gonna get into my opinion so i guess queen Naja end up seeing some stuff seeing the twitters and everything so she snapped back and she posted her little comment as y'all can see on the screen she posted her comment stating that whenever she wrote karma the gospel song was not even in mind my opinion queen i can't agree i'm sorry i think it was in mind you liked it, the song and i felt like you just had to Use it and switch it up and make it into an R&B song, you know? You feel me? I mean, hey, guys, that's my opinion. That is my opinion. So if I was to take Queen Naja's song and make it into my song, does that call copywriting or what? Y'all opinion. I, th I think so. But at the end of the day, you know, John P. Key was talking about suing her, which I think he's absolutely right because you used his song. You used this song. You did not have permission to use the man's song. And no, y'all, I'm not down in Queen because I love Queen to death. I like all her music. So shout out to Queen. You know, shout out to Queen. But baby, now, they always say if you play with fire, you get burned. I mean, I love the song to death, but John P. Key is thinking about suing this girl for copywriting his song. And you didn't even have permission to even, you know write this man music you you switch this man music up but not in your own words but you still use the same melody and when you say people take stuff and run with it of course yeah they do but at the end of the day you got to accept the fact when you're wrong so a lot of people is snapping on john p key because they talking about he's supposed to be a pastor and you doing this and you doing that okay pastor christian ain't got nothing to do with it with you copywriting somebody else's song, it's not right. So you guys, enough of that. If you're feeling this video, give this video some thumbs up. Make sure you hit the subscribe button at the bottom of your screen. Always remember that guys love you, and I love you, and I love you also. So until next time.